Hello everybody, this is Fred Finder. Welcome back to Explore Fever. I'm inside the Chapel Hill Mall. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm here to check out the mall. Some people said that this is a dying mall. I hope it is not a dying mall because I want to see it live. So I'm here to check it out. I'm in the food court area and Actually, everything looks pretty good. So far, I only see one closed storefront. It's this one here. So far, it looks like it's full of tenants. And nothing unusual about it, actually. Well, we got some uh, security up here, I think, so. Mm. Well, so far, so good. Everything was cool. Well, here we have one, one more vacant storefront. That's two so far. You know, in the scheme of things, that's really not that bad here. Here's a third one. That's closed. Well, here's a fourth one that's closed, but still, you know, the size of this mall, it's still not too bad. So far, four stores, vacant. Uh, Let's make that five stores are vacant. Here's one here. So, five vacant stores. I don't think makes this a dead mall in any way. Not five. I got about probably 50 more percent of the store to to check out. I can see that the security is really good here. Where they're making themselves obvious as soon as you come into the mall. Which is probably a good thing. Well, here's a sixth store that's vacant. So, it's not kind of anymore. It's kind of pushing the envelope here now with six. But that's probably all there is. Well, I take that back. Here's one more. Here's seven. There's eight stores, I guess. Okay, that's eight. Here's another one. So what is that nine? A total of nine that I counted. You know, that's, I'm still on the fence with that. And it's three o'clock in the afternoon on a Monday. So you have to uh, take that factor into consideration 
here's where the old um, Sears stores was. Sears has their own problems, so you can't really blame that on the mall. Well, here's the storefront. That'd be 11. Yeah, uh, 12. That's 12, 13 including Sears. If I counted them right. Well, the mall is nice and clean. Security is excellent. They're making themselves known that they're here. Well, there's another one. So that'd be what, 14? Here's 15. Well, I'm counting 16 if I'm counting them right, including the Sears store. And I believe there's another large store here that's going out of business also. Here's another one. And here... There's quite a few stores here. Let's see if we can count them all. I counted up to 70 stores. So. <clears throat> well, that was another one. Okay, this one's out. So. We'll count them up and try to make an equation here into deciding whether or not this mall is a dead mall. Right now, my assumption is that it is not. Anyhow, that's my assumption right now. You know, as I leave the mall now and I'm driving down the road, I see vacant stores across from the mall. So it's totally not a mall dying. It's just a mall in the mix of things. It's just in an area where stores come and go. Um, management, management of some stores is probably lacking. I think that's why you see a lot of vacant storefronts in the mall. I also think that there might be a trend. There could be a trend of people wanting to walk less to the store. I noticed the little plazas through here are quite busy. I mean, you park in the parking lot, you only got to walk about maybe 20 feet or less to the uh, storefront. So that's got to play into it too. I mean there's a lot of things going on here. It's nothing like a Rolling Acres. Not even close. I saw that going on and this mall is no comparison to that mall. Businesses, private businesses mismanaging themselves. And just bad decisions. But still, we'll count them up but that was still a small amount, I think. It's just at the low point. It's just about to swing upwards. All right, there were over 70 open stores in the mall at one time. I personally don't feel like this is a dying mall. I think it's far from it. Okay, it's wounded, but it's not dying. And really, the only cure is to go out there and shop until you drop over and buy stuff. Losing the two anchor stores, not their fault.